Hi guys, Darth Deuces here, back on our Star Wars The Vintage Collection figure review. Today, taking a look at the, I think, Walmart exclusive uh, Incendiary Trooper and Grogu Deluxe set from The Mandalorian. Um, and this set's actually been out for a while. It's been out for like, maybe not a full year, but uh, close to a full year at this point. Uh, I actually completely forgot this set even kind of existed, if I'm being honest. But I walked into my local Walmart the other day and they actually... Uh, I actually had this set on the shelf. Um, I haven't seen too many of the deluxe sets. Uh, I see the Stormtrooper and E-Web turret one a lot. Uh, I have yet to see the Ahsoka one in stores. I don't plan to get that one anyways because I got the single standard release of Ahsoka. Um, there's this one. I can't remember if there's any others. Um, but yeah, so I guess right off the bat, uh, looking at the packaging, you've got that uh, plastic-free packaging for the deluxe sets that they've been doing. Um, where on the one hand, uh, I kind of like it because the toy photography, I think the use here, it looks quite nice. Um, but on the other hand, you don't get to see the figures. It kind of completely neutralizes getting this set if you're a mint on card collector. Luckily, I'm not, but also you can't check for imperfections. And unfortunately, I will be talking about that a little bit. Um, you do get the packaging here. I do like that. It kind of showcases that you get Grogu. Um, it's got another picture of the Incinerary Trooper, Trooper with some really nice... Uh, toy photography there um, and then you've got the set with everything it comes with and all that good stuff another close-up of the incinerator stormtrooper which is very cool but that's all there is to talk about for the packaging so I'm gonna come down and now take a look at the actual figure and this is, set isn't actually the first time we've seen this figure in three and three quarter inch um, the specific Mandalorian one uh, there is actually a single card release of this figure. That I never actually found the normal one of. They did a carbonized one as well. I found the carbonized one but never bought it because I didn't like it and I didn't want to spend the money on it. Um, but this one's pretty cool and from my research, I was watching reviews of that single release. This figure is actually a slight upgrade from that figure. Um, but taking a look at it, it is the newer three and a quarter inch Stormtrooper mold we've become accustomed to over the last few years now, which looks absolutely awesome. I absolutely love the new three and a quarter inch Stormtrooper body. Uh, I think the helmet is damn near perfection. I absolutely love the sculpt of that. And I really like the Incinerator Stormtroopers from the show. Um, they originally appeared, this design, similar design, appeared in the Force Unleashed game ages ago. It was kind of adapted into the show. And uh, I don't know, I just really like them. Uh, love the red uh, highlights. I think they look really good. I like the, the red mouth around the mouth and the lines and everything. And all across the figure, you can see little scuffs taking out of the red marks, which I think is pretty cool. Taking a closer look at the head, and you can probably barely tell, but unfortunately, because I could not check in the packaging, uh, however they paint the, the heads or they print them on or whatever, the mouthpiece, the little black detailing for the mouthpiece, completely missed the mark it's completely cockeyed and skewed and not aligned at all it's on the red a bit on the top of the face and on the red a bit on the bottom of the face it completely missed the mark you can't really notice it at a distance you can honestly barely notice it on camera up close um, because they're such small black dots but you can kind of see there they completely missed the mark which does really suck there's a few other small imperfections like there's this big black scuff on his uh, pauldron as well it does really suck but luckily, the rest of the figure, from what I've been able to tell, is painted pretty cleanly. So I don't know. It is what it is. Um, I'm not going to cry too much over a domestic release three and three quarter inch figure from Hasbro. <laughs> um, but yeah, all looks really good here. You've got some nice detail. They did paint some of the detail in the midsection there. This whole uh, backpack, harness, pauldron piece, I believe you can take this off. Um, you can untab it at the top. So I'm not going to do it because it's probably a pain to get back on but you could take it off if you wanted to. And you've got the tank there, which looks pretty nice. Just a black plastic though, no other detailing. And then you got the rest of the figure there with some of the red detailing, which looks really nice, but not too much else to talk about look-wise. I just really like the look of this guy. And I think they did a pretty good job aside from some of the quality control with the paint on the face and the pauldron. In terms of articulation, you know what to expect if you have any of the Stormtroopers. We do have that dumbbell joint in the neck. A bit more hindered because of the pauldron, but you can still, you know, rotate it. Looks up a bit. Can't really look down much. A little bit of pivot. Hinges at the shoulders move quite well. Single hinges at the elbows move a little past 90, which is great. Uh, hinges at the wrist. The gun holding hand has the up and down hinge, which is great to see. 
a ball joint at the torso, which crunches okay, goes back a bit and pivots really well as well as rotates. And the backpack does have a nice gap, so it will not get in the way of the thermal detonator on the back of the belt, which is super cool. Unfortunately, because this mold was made before they started doing the new hip joints, it does have the old style uh, hinge swivel, I guess, hip joints, which still articulate well. They're just not as fun to manipulate and mess with, unfortunately. But you still have those. You have a swivel cut at the thigh, which is hidden really nicely by the armor. Single hinge knees, which go about 90 hinge at the ankle. But a difference here is the original release of this figure still had the old ankles, but this one actually incorporates the new ankle rockers. So that is very cool to see that they at least upgraded that. Would have been nice if they upgraded the hips as well, but not a big deal. I'm not going to uh, complain too much about that. In terms of accessories, uh, obviously you've seen one already because it is attached to via a cable to the uh, fuel tanks on his back. You do have the flamethrower. Uh, no paint, just cast in black, but it is sculpted really nicely. The hose that's attached to it is a nice pliable material. Um, shouldn't have any issues with that whatsoever. And you can get him to hold it in pretty good poses, firing poses. That should not be an issue as well. Um, like so. So that looks really good. Really like that. He also comes with the accessory that he came, the single release came with, which is the flame effect that you can attach to the gun itself. There are a couple notches on the bottom here that align with the uh, pieces on the gun here. So you can port that in, then align these notches, and then you can have the flame effect on the gun, which looks absolutely awesome. They did this with the Black Series as well, which I thought was such a cool accessory and feature to do. And it works really well with this figure. It looks awesome. Really adds some uh, life to the figure, I guess, when you want to pose them in action poses or whatever. Um, it does obviously make him very top heavy, but you can hinge the ankles in such a way so he can stand on his own and have the flame effect and not look dumb, I guess. So that's great. Um, you do obviously get a few extra pieces, extra stuff. Of course, one of those being Grogu. This is a special version of Grogu. He's got his eyes half closed. He has his hands up using the force. He's pushing the fire away. I don't think they've ever reused these bits. I think it's unique to this set, but I could be wrong. You've got some decent paint and sculpting work going on. I think the sculpt of his head is pretty good. Um, his arms, you can articulate them. His shoulders are on a ball joint, so you can put his arms, I guess, down if you want to. But they are meant to be up. Um, doing the force push thing because they kind of pop out if you really try to pose them. You can also move his head a bit on a ball joint. You have to rotate the head a bit, but yeah, he's kind of just like a static piece, but he is cool. You can just stand there. And then you get this massive flame effect, uh, translucent orange, which has a few different colors of orange in there um, to look like fire and obviously to look like he's kind of like making like a force bubble or whatever, pushing the fire away. So you can have that set up and have Grogu behind it. And then he's blocking the fire, which is a super cool piece. And then you get two extra little flame effect pieces that are just meant to go on the ground, just make it look like the ground's on fire or whatever, which are just some cool little world building pieces. Um, they don't really do much, you know, they kind of just literally just sit there, but they just bring like the whole, make the whole diorama set look a little cooler. Um, very useful if you build dioramas or want to build dioramas or want to spice up your display um, with more than just figures, have some of these world building accessories. I think they're super cool to include with figures. So I do actually really like them a lot. They're very nice. They even would be useful for toy photography as well. Um, but that is pretty much it for all the stuff this thing actually comes with. Um, I will do some quick comparisons, pop the, uh, that effect part off for now. So, uh, I don't know, not doing much to compare him with, but here he is with like another stormtrooper of similar mold. This is the remnant stormtrooper. So you can see how they kind of look together. They look very cool. And then as I previously mentioned, the black series did make their own incinerator stormtrooper. You can see how they look together. I love both these figures. Uh, the incinerator stormtrooper is probably my favorite of the new uh, stormtrooper mold that they've done so far. Um, he's great. And uh, this three and a quarter inch one is also really good. Honestly, probably one of my favorite Stormtrooper designs uh, that we've gotten in the last few years. But yeah, both really good. So if you collect either or scale or collect both scales, they're both great figures to pick up. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. Uh, overall, it is a really nice set. Um, is it worth that deluxe price point? Honestly, it is one of the ones out of all the ones I've done that I think is closer to being worth it than some other ones. 
I think this set would have been a lot more agreeable. It was only like maybe five dollars cheaper. Um, I, in Canada, this retails for like thirty one ninety nine or something like that. So after tax, you're paying about thirty six dollars for this. Um, isn't the worst in the world, but if I was paying after tax around thirty, I think that would be a lot better um, because it definitely is more than a standard vintage collection three and a quarter figure release. You know the flame effect, the Grogu, the other flame accessories. It is more significant than you you would get at the standard release. So. I think it's not too bad. I think if you don't already have the Incinerator Stormtrooper, you want to maybe recreate this look, this uh, scene, definitely worth picking up. Um, if you're an army builder and you just want another Incinerator Stormtrooper, definitely worth picking up as well. And you get these nice world building accessories and just overall very cool. Anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and I'll see you all in the next one. May the force be with you.